Hello Internet, this is Kevin Culley with Culley Technologies. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the Visual Fox Pro to Real Studio Converter. Uh, here is Visual Fox Pro running with a, my test project. I've got three forms built into the project, uh, including one very simple form, just a button on it. Uh, but notice I've got some code behind. I've got uh, in the click event of the button I've got a message box and in the init of the form I've got a simple wait window there. Uh, one of the new features in version 0.2 beta is that your code will be pulled over into Real Studio. However, it'll just be commented out, which is what I think you want anyway. <clears throat> um, you know, the conversion of code's not going to be perfect, so I think just bringing the code over having in the methods and available to you for you to convert the code is probably going to be the best choice. Okay, so let's close this uh, form. Let's run our Visual Fox Pro to Real Studio uh, application. I've already pointed it to the test controls project. I click the convert. In just a couple seconds, our project is converted. Uh, it builds a version control format. Uh, project of Real Studio in the output folder. Uh, I'm going to open it with Real Studio. And in just a second, we'll see that we have the project and our forms pulled in um, to Real Studio. Uh, and here's our uh, third form that we've got with our command button and notice the code is here and it's just commented out. Uh, so what was the click event becomes the action event in Real Studio and what was the init becomes the open uh, event for the window. So uh, now what I can do is go into the application and set the default window. We'll set to my third form. Uh, we'll save that and we'll run that and there's my window. Now if I click here, it's gonna do nothing because the code is commented out, but what I could do is come into the form, uh, correct that uh, to be, uncomment that out. Instead of message box, it becomes MSG box. Okay, so then we save, we run, and I click, and there we go. So, that is version 0.2 beta. I'm pulling over a couple more controls like option groups, um, which you can see here in the test controls. On the fourth page, I've got option groups. I've got image controls become canvases. Um, and so that's being pulled over. Another big change is I've changed the license uh, based on a recommendation from Ted Roche. I'm, uh, setting the license as an MIT license, which should be more free, more open for you to use uh, the VFP to Real Studio uh, Converter as you like. So hope you like it. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, please contact me uh, and uh, let me know if it's of use to you. Thanks. Talk to you later.